Kabbalah Session 4 Albert Einstein disagreed with Niels Bohr by saying that God does not roll dice and yet space has three dimensions. Each dimension has two directions such that there are in fact six possible directions in all space. This is equivalent to the six sides of a cubic dice. Thus, Einstein disagreed with Bohr on the nature and construction of the universe. He may have been implying that space, because it has a fourth single direction of time, is not shaped exactly like a six-sided dice. The ancients were familiar with the six-sided cube, and they invented the dice based on those principles. While many moderns believe that the original invention of dice was to further a game of chance, luck, in truth, dice were a divinatory mechanism. That is, a device for rendering predictions. By the same grand design, that formed and created, made and shaped the universe in three dimensions with six possible directions. These manifested as the six fundamental questions of logical reasoning. Who, what, when, where, why, and how since their origin, the exact order of these in order to produce a deduction or induction of logical reasoning, i.e. an answer, has been lost. However, the questions known now are the same as those known to the ancients and can be graphed, plotted into the six sides of the three-dimensional cube. This configuration is called a logic cube, and it represents space, the static three dimensions, frozen in the exact moment. However, what is sacred is sacred, and what is profane is profane. Therefore, the single cube representing space frozen in the moment of now time excludes the arrow of entropy that passes through all things causing change and energy to be formed as matter breaks down. Thus, while this moment, the single cube, is a sacred moment, event, and shape. It is not the single cube, which is known to the profane. It is the dice. Plural. Dice. Like these. Poker dice. Which are labeled with the upper trump royal suits of a regular deck of cards. Thus, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, and ace. 
Just as the six fundamental questions of reasoning represent the single moment of now, and in the same way that only poker dice and not regular pipped dice can represent the dual nature of a single cube over time, representing the change, the flux, the rolling of the dice as it breaks its matter down into energy and becomes something new. Thus, when we take two poker dice and label them with these esoteric and astrological, planetary, and elemental symbols shown here the twelve signs of the zodiac and seven planets of antiquity thus representing time depicted on the pair of cubes we arrive at this model here you can see that each edge of the dual cube has a symbol from astrology attached to it but that each face or side of this dual cube remains labeled with one aspect of the dual nature of the poker dice. It is possible to depict in a model in three dimensions the combination of the logic cube and the dual nature of the poker dice expressed as the double cube of the Kabbalah. When these two traits, the logic dice and the dual nature of the poker dice Kabbalah, are combined, They give us the actual shape of the Tree of Life. The arrangement of the Tree of Life is such that there are ten faces showing on the double cube, symbolizing the ten Sephiroth emanations of Kabbalah. The twenty-two paths are contained in three horizontal planes. The seven planets are labeled vertically, while the twelve astrological signs of the zodiac are labeled horizontally around the double cube. And here we see that because the double cube is superimposed with the logic cube's attributes, when represents Kether, as well as the lower half of the Abyss Death, while Y represents Malkuth and the upper half of the Abyss Death. And so when and why appear only once each, while the rest appear twice. And here we see the two cubes of Kabbalah represented in three separate forms. On the right, we see the proper Tree of Life model of Kabbalah. In the middle, we see the combination of the attributes of the zodiac and the planets with the poker dice sides. And on the left, we see the regular poker dice arranged in the same placement as the other two models. Thus, these three double cubes all represent the tree of life. A cube over time.